Welcome back to another episode of What the Smut Book Reviews. I'm your host, Candice. Thank you for joining me for another episode. Um, is it an episode? If it's on YouTube? I feel like I've asked this question before. It's not a show, so is it an episode? Mm, I say so, so yes. <laughs> um, in today's video, first of all, please excuse any background noise you may hear. Um, it's thunder. There's a storm of brewing outside, and I'm just hoping that my power doesn't go out, so fingers crossed for that. Um, in today's video, also, ignore my, <laughs> ignore my terribly bandaged finger. I somehow managed to paper cut myself with tinfoil. I didn't know that was a thing. Didn't know that was possible, but it is, and it hurt, okay? Um, so third time's a charm. In today's video, we will be venturing back to Strawberry Valley, Oklahoma. And this is going to be the review for this cutie patootie right here. This is Jenna Showalter's The Hotter You Burn. Um, this is book three in the um, original Heartbreaker series. First two books, if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about them, you can find my reviews for them further down in the listing uh, of videos. And this book, okay, so I really enjoyed the first one, which was kind of like a little novella. The second one, which was a full length novel, and I really enjoyed both of those. But when I got to this one, I was a chomping at the bit. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to think to yourself, was it because of the guy? Because Beck, who is the main male character of this book, um, is very delicious. He's like your quintessential um, playboy heartthrob manho type situation. Um, he's like a hit it and quit it type guy, one and done, you know, one night stand type of dude. Um, but no, no. I mean, yes, but no, mostly no. Um, I was anticipating reading this book because of the main female character, Harlow. Um, she is, she's a complex character, very lovable, very downtrodden, very mopey and sad and kind of pathetic, but in like an endearing way. You know what I mean? Um, so I will read you guys the blurb in just a second. First, let me give you the details for the book. So this is um, listed on Amazon as book two in the series, but again, it is really kind of book three because there was a prequel novella, which I would consider to be book one, um, and then book two, and then obviously this guy here. Um, it is 413 pages, which, which is a nice little chunk of book. Uh, you can currently get this book for your Kindle and Nook for the price of $6.99. You can buy it brand new, the mass market paperback, which is going to look pretty much just like this one, um, for the cost of $7.99 on Amazon. And you can get it in audio format, which I don't normally add in audiobook information, but if it's available, I figured why not? Um, and that is $9.97. I'm assuming through Audible? I'm assuming. Um, and you can get it currently used on eBay for about $5 with free shipping. So, um, I will read you guys the blurb and then we can break it down a little bit and then I'll give you my rating and then you'll be free of me for today. God, this is hideous. Like it just looks so bad. Um, okay. So the blurb for this one states, Beck Ockley is ruthless in the boardroom and in the bedroom. He's never been with the same woman twice and vows he never will. With a past as twisted as his, meaningless sex keeps the demons at bay. His motto, one and done, no harm, no foul. Harlow Glass is the most hated girl in town. The beautiful artist is penniless, jobless, and homeless. When she sneaks into Beck's home, her ancestral estate, for food, she's shocked by his early return and her immediate sizzling and intense attraction to him. For the first time in Beck's life, he can't get a woman out of his mind. All too soon, friendship blooms into obsession and he'll have to break her heart 
or surrender his own. Okay, so again, I, for the first two books, I really looked forward to this couple's story, mainly because of Harlow. So we'll start with Harlow. I know I usually like go with like the male character and like what his sordid past is first, but let's start with Harlow because she's super interesting. So Harlow was um, a bully in high school. She was like the queen bee type who shit on everyone in high school. Um, she then went through some traumatic stuff at home. She ended up getting pulled out of high school and homeschooled and um, her family like lost all of their money and they, uh, they basically had to forfeit the farm or it got foreclosed on the farm that she grew up on. Um, so now she lives as an adult, as an outcast um, camped out in a tent in the woods that is adjacent or on her old property, um, which has now been bought by these three guys. Um, Beck, who's the main male character, his best friends, Jace and West. So, um, they're living in her old house. They're tearing down stuff, fixing up stuff, which she does not like. She's like, stop destroying my shit, right? Um, but she routinely sneaks onto the property to like steal food and, you know, just spy on them a little bit to see what they're up to and to see what kind of damage you're doing to her beloved home. Um, so the guys have moved into this house. Beck is also kind of a complicated character, but, um, he has a similar backstory to other, um, I guess male heroes that you read in romance novels like he began with uh, his mother passed away from cancer his dad was neglectful didn't give two shits about him dropped him off with random family members and just like skedaddled and then they passed him from one to another none of them wanted him he ended up in foster care where he met his two best friends they were in the same foster home together and they've been inseparable since they started their own company You guys hear that thunder? Lord Jesus, please don't let my power go out because in the South, the power goes out. If the wind blows too hard, the fucking power goes out. Um, so yeah, so they started their own company together. They're all now uber rich, um, but each one is fighting their own inner demons and they're trying to like escape those demons. So they've moved to Strawberry Valley, Oklahoma, which is a tiny little Oklahoma town. Um, where they've bought this farmhouse together and they're all like, you know, living together and fixing it up and whatever. So, so Beck has some serious trust issues, obviously, because he really could never count on anyone growing up. So yeah, so he's essentially turned into like this quintessential, you know, man -ho type character. Who, um only does one night stands. He never gets committed to any one woman. He never sleeps with the same woman twice. But after moving into this farmhouse um, and they're going through stuff and cleaning out old stuff that used to belong to Harlow and her family, um, he runs across pictures of Harlow as a little girl and he sees something in her that I guess he relates to. And when he realizes that this grown straggly looking woman that's currently haunting his property is the same little girl he becomes obsessed with her um so over the course of the book an attraction forms um harlow is universally hated in town even by the significant others of the previous couples who have had their own books um she, like i said she was a bully in high school she treated everybody like crap um, mostly because like most bullies, she was, um, projecting her own inner problems, right? Um, so she, she, since that time as an adult, she's done everything she can to, um, redeem herself. Like she goes out of her way to be nice to people, even though they still treat her like garbage. And, um, yeah. So the opening scene of this book is actually super cute because Harlow is sneaking onto the property that uh, the guys are 
uh, renovating and she is starving because again, no job, no home, homeless living in the woods type situation. And she goes and she wants to steal a pie that, uh, I believe it was Brooklyn. Brooklyn probably baked it because she's the um, main female character from the last book and she's now living in the house with them. So uh, she comes in, she sees a pie and she tries to steal the pie. Beck catches her in the act of trying to steal said pie and chases her down. The pie gets destroyed and she's just like devastated <laughs> because... I think at one point she calls him a pie killer <laughs> and she basically tells him you're going to burn in hell for this if there's any kind of justice in the world. Um, so it's super cute. Um, the entire book, I, like I said, I was looking forward to this story because of the characters involved and Jenna definitely did not disappoint whatsoever. Uh, I loved the book. I loved all the turmoil that they go through, you know, to become a solid couple at the end of the book. It does have a happily ever after ending, so you don't have to worry about any kind of cliffhangers or whatever. There are more books in the series. Like I said, this is like technically book three. And there are, uh, there's one more book in this kind of like trilogy of the three guys who are living together. And then there's a subsequent additional three books. There are... Um, a few subsequent books that are still part of the overall um, original Heartbreaker Strawberry Valley series, um, which are characters that are introduced later on. So um, if I'm not mistaken, there's three additional books after these three. So it's definitely binge worthy series. It's the book itself was awesome. Um, I would definitely recommend that you guys pick it up. I would definitely recommend that you read this book, that you read every book in the series. I bought them all. I read them. I bought them. Um, and I put them in my little collection. And um, yeah, what more can I say? For the rating for this book, I did give it a nine. Um, because again, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. My jam has been paranormal romance for the longest time. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't like a good contemporary romance. And this is a good contemporary romance. So, um, again, I would really suggest you guys read it. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, if you have any comments to add or if you have any suggestions for books you'd like to see me review, please put it down in the comment section below. Um, if you would like to follow me on any of my other social media pages, I do have a members only Facebook group, an Instagram and a Twitter devoted to this channel and they are all gonna be listed in the description box below. And I'll put a little banner on the screen here for you guys to see. And um, if you like me, and you like my channel, and you like my quirky personality, and you like this video, uh, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Um, if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell so you get notifications when I upload a new video. I also do sneak peeks on my other social media channels of upcoming videos, and I will soon be doing my first ever giveaway. So I haven't really decided if we're gonna do a book giveaway, which would be right up our alley, obviously, um, or if I'm gonna do something else that's not necessarily an ebook or paperback book, but that is book related. So I was toying around with the idea of like a coffee mug or like um, a tumbler or a, you know, like a, a cup of something that has like a cute bookish saying on it. I think that would be cute. If you have any ideas that you wanna suggest for giveaway uh, items, yeah, giveaway items, put them in the comment section below. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for me for today. I thank you guys so much for joining me for another book review and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay. I love you so much. Bye. To begin, where to begin? Um, so Jace, why do I keep saying Jace? Stop. Um, three books, two books. Shut up. Another one down, another one down, another one bites the dust. I'm wearing earrings, y'all.
look at them cutie patootie don't look at my my oh god that band-aid looks terrible look at these earrings aren't they so cute and like bohemian and whatever they don't really match my lipstick but whatever okay i did recolor my hair because that washed out gross brown color was like no boo boo it was not working for me what else is there to talk about what else is there to talk about i swear to god the minute i sit down to record something everybody and their brother tries to call or text me um i run out of storage or as you can see there's like weather interference that makes it so that nobody's gonna want to sit there and watch a 30 minute video of fucking thunder in the background can i get some cooperation man not man like the man but you know man come on man